Red Cloud Mine. This is uh, quite the pit, as you can see. And uh, our host is uh, having us walk over there. It's quite the uh, it's quite the fall. <laughs> so here we go. So the guy explained to us that there's uh, all kinds of minerals coming down and twisting and layers. And Kelly and Diane are getting the small stuff out of this hole that he was working on. Apparently has. Uh, some crystals in it that uh, he's uh, that these people like to to mine for. Um, so Kelly's helping Diane with that hole to clean it up, and she's also working where the shovel is. And I guess what they're looking for is these little crystals here. I don't know if you can see that right there. Apparently, that's a crystal. I picked a few up off the ground and put them in my little pocket. Apparently they grow out of this rock. This is like a hundred foot drop. And I'm a big chicken. So I'm going back over here to the skinny little narrow mule trail. And as you can see, it's got its challenges. Oh, and by the way, we are at the Red Clown Mine, Red Cloud Mine, in Arizona, just north of uh, Yuma. So it is quite the hole. The guy showed us some really nice uh, crystals. Of course, I'm not a geologist or or a jeweler or anything like that, so I don't really know what the hell they're talking about. But it's cool, so I'm here to help them out. And right now I gotta go back there, and around that corner there's a generator. So, well, this is what a pit, pit mine looks like. I'll take a video from down there, because that's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look for uh, rocks that uh, Flu, flu ores. All right, bye. So that's a really steep incline that I just came down, and I'm not done yet. I'm a third of the way down, and those guys are up there. So they got some hammer drilled or something, digging for crystals. So. I'm thinking I'm just gonna, there's not a lot of room up there and I'm a little bit height sensitive or height challenged. So I'm gonna go down there and see what the, what the scoop is. So we'll see you down there. That's Diane up there waving. That's the honor or the superintendent, as he calls himself. I think his name is uh, Robert, or Roger. And that's where I came down. All this crumbled stuff. There's a few interesting holes. This big mine here, that big opening. Right where the different dirts meet. Pretty interesting. Uh, so far I managed to pick up a few samples uh, just to have a look at what the materials are. And uh, I got some of the orange, some of the weird black flashy stuff. Uh, got a little bit of something in there, I don't know what that is. This is pretty cool. I'm wondering if it'll fluoresce under UV. Same thing with this one over here. Kind of the same stuff. Sparkly. <laughs> this one here has some beige crystals in it. I'm not sure. 
of that it is going to clean up or what it needs. Well, I'll ask the girls. They're the experts. I'm kind of like the girlfriend you bring on a fishing trip. And she uh, she bases her choice of lures instead of on what kind of fish you're fishing. She bases her choice of lures on, uh, on their color and how pretty they are. Well, that's me with rocks. Maybe someday I'll know more than just what the pretty colors are. Somebody dropped a ladder. Somebody else had a hole going. Obviously it wasn't worth coming back for. So, again, I'll uh, take another video from uh, one of these uh, spots. Probably that one up there. That looks too cool to, to skip. Ciao for now. So oh, they're just uh, shoveling the tailings out of their hole. And it's rolling downhill, of course, and coming down here. It's just the dust picking it up because there's a bit of wind here today. That was more of a climb than I thought it would be. And you guys can't hear. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but anyways, they're working up there. This electric hammer or something. Anyways, as promised, I'm in this cave and it smells not good. Probably uh, because of this guy here. That I found up here just like that so I rolled him over I don't know that he's been dead for that long but uh, he certainly does smell poor guy anyways such is life to accept life is to accept death everything comes to an end Hopefully, not too soon. So, not much down here for crystals or anything good to find, so. A few sparkly rocks, as I showed you. That's about it, so. I'm gonna go back up there and uh, give those guys a hand uh, shoveling gravel out of the pit. See you guys later.